2-0 down against Barnsley to draw 2-2. So, it's given away by QPR, here's Jaden Anthony into the box. Jaden Anthony finds the far corner, and out of nowhere, Bournemouth have the lead against QPR. They've been up against it in the opening ten minutes, but a howler on the edge of their own box from the visitors, and it gives Jaden Anthony his second Bournemouth goal. The Cherries two, keep the, the Cherries one, keep the nil. Oh, we, I thought I'd missed one there. Great finish by Anthony. I had the option of I'd just sliding Dominic in for a, a, a tap in. To Brooks. Brooks turns away from trouble to the edge of the D. Lays it off to Dominic Solanke. He's got Jaden Anthony to his left. Anthony back to Solanke! The birthday boy gets a birthday goal. And Dominic Solanke just can't stop finding the back of the net. Five in his last five, number six for the season, and Bournemouth double their lead, the Cherries two, QPR nil. And there's a player, QPR give it away again, Jane Nantony, left side of the box, back heel from Solanke, Billing off the post and back out. Bournemouth at very nearly 3-0 up. Bournemouth looking pretty... Nice in the table, here's Chair, Willock, edge of the D for QPR, pulls the trigger early, deflects out to the left-hand side, McCallum with the ball into the box, still McCallum, deflected, it's past Mark Travers, and QPR are back in the game. McCallum with the goal, it's Bournemouth 2, QPR 1. Yeah, that was always the concern, that third one goes in, it's a different story, but they just got a lucky break there with a... Bit of a deflection and Travis could do nothing about it. 